Oh, snap. What up, Max? Welcome to the stream. Make sure you use the emotes that I've uploaded for everybody. We, we're at the maximum of five as affiliate. And I uploaded five shout outs to Aaron for the art. But um, today's stream, I'm going to be doing Showcase of Haneo. Hype was the first one, Max. And then, yeah, then we got Haneo Pog, who, who is the guy that's going to be showing off today. Or just his picture, really. And uh, then we'll do, we'll, we finished out Paito. Besides, um, yeah, yep. I mean... That's not the character, but that's exactly where it's from. Um, let me see. Not that document. Um, show off a nail's picture. Showing you guys the rest of Pido, who is the intro arc villain for the shonen. And then, I think we just get... Let me check my to-do list. And then we just get straight into the writing. Let me just add script writing uh, virtuosity chapter one. So, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which is the best way to stay up to date with anything I'm doing off stream, uh, I began writing the actual script for Virtuosity. I have the intro arc or intro chapter planned out, so I've been just putting that into words for whatever artist I'll, I'm going to send it to once I find one. Um, and here's a sneak peek at that on, on the left side here but uh we'll, we'll get more into that and i'm going to be writing for it um on stream in a, in a few minutes but let, let's uh and that also addresses the topic of the title college came in handy because i bought final draft for college because i was writing scripts and stuff in college and more on that later let's 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 show the let's show the picture that I drew to get out the third emote, which is Haneo, the Haneo Pog. Uh, last, I either did it Thursday or Friday, I don't remember. But where is, look ready, virtuosity area. Uh, I should always just have this open. Here it is.
Yes. There it is. All right, there he is. The beautiful man that is Hanel, who is the teacher. He's the virtue teacher out of the three teachers that the students that did of the OAVL school, um, the, the OAVL Academy. He is a teacher of virtue. He has a very tragic backstory, but he, he's a nice guy, cool down to earth. Uh, his eyes are black. It was supposed to be a special design for his eyes. What up, Ladina? What up, stream? Um, we're just showing off a drawing I did Friday for one of the teachers. Uh, one of the main three characters in the intro arc for the shonen. Um, I was supposed to have a special design for his eyes, and I realized I messed up because I I went in with like permanent marker instead of doing pencil like I normally do, and I I effed up. So then I just ended up blacking out his eyes entirely. But it works, kind of, because he's supposed to be blind without his glasses. These these dark glasses, it, I know it's kind of hard to see because the his bandana around his nose blends in with uh, with the the black glasses. But um, his glasses allow him to see, and then also grant him other abilities that allow him to like read people, like like it's a what's the word like it's a game. Um, so yeah. If you're wondering where the bandana design came from, uh, two teachers inspired this creation of a teacher. I'm not afraid to admit. Um, so Kakashi from Naruto was one, then Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen was another. Um, Kakashi has the half mask here, right? And he also has the bandana, but he has the half mask here. And then Gojo has the bandana up here. Not bandana, it's like a blindfold. Um, here he also sometimes has glasses, but mainly you see him in the blindfold. Both have white hair. Um, so then I thought, well, I'll just go in the middle ground here and put a bandana here for absolutely no reason. And then he also has a handkerchief that's also the same color. So, yeah. And then he's also, like, one of the strongest virtuesers in the in this series. So, um... Yeah, this is Hanel. I don't want to go too much. I'm, I'm not going to explain his backstory or anything like that because I'm afraid of accidentally showing off spoilers for his character and, yeah, on stream. So, um, he's got scars all over. But he's a cool dude. And he's also, uh, goes along with the design for all of the students with their, um, let me just open up the students with the, the triangle thing for their outfits the these lines each of them is on in a different color um, but they're all all black wait where are the others Amy hers are purple you can't see them really well because even with the light shown on it because it's black hers are green we'll go along with the crystals um, dragons are green also goes along with this tattoo and the purple green aesthetic. Um, where's that? I thought I opened Zashi's picture. And then Zashi's are pink. Um, but he's a teacher. He's. Oh, he also doesn't have the symbol there because he's not going to be part of any team. Uh, the symbols on the students jackets or hoodies are uh, show what team they're a part of um, so yeah there there's the picture of Haneo who is also your 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 pog emote for for the subs out there <laughs> not the most flattering picture but uh it was supposed to be like the actual pog that's available to everybody I believe but just Haneo uh, he may not seem like it. He seems like he could be the cool down earth dude, but he's he's pretty goofy. So that's why I gave that that honor of the Pog emote to him. Plus, I wanted to include some more virtuosity characters in there. 
because this is going to come out very soon. I'm hoping to at least have found an artist and have chapter one out by the end of the year. That is my goal. Um, and speaking of chapter one, we'll get into that in a second. Here's, um, so we finished Pidal. We'll scroll into his, I'm going to search it, search for it in the com completed characters document. So I don't scroll past any spoilers. So we've gone through some of this before, I believe. Uh, male, semiotics, or character tags, thug, thief, ne'er-do-well, colors, coral, uh, teal, probably some other third color, uh, orange, hair, thin beard, constricted eyes, button-up shirt, gold tooth, jeans, boots. And I put in the, the old new document when I was creating him that I want him to just look as distinct as possible so he looks like he could be a main state character. A lot of this, a lot of the design is to fool the reader into thinking that these characters are going to be mainstays. Black Phoenix, for example, uh, who is just supposed to be oozing badassery. Um, yeah, no, that's that's not his story for this. Where I just you gonna open, please? I asked politely, so what are you doing now? You're not... You're not gonna... Do I have too many open? Was that it? It's still loading. What... What are you... Dog. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, the stream that very glad you can make it. Um, so his alignment, neutral evil, while Black Phoenix comes. I don't know what. Okay, error. Great. Can you open now, please? Thank you. So Black Phoenix is another pretty distinct design. Um, that makes it seem like he'll be a mainstay, because he's it, also his intro is just either gonna be the funniest or the coolest intro. He's either going to be beating the snot out of the little kid, which is an inside joke uh, for who this character is based off of, or he's going to just he's going to have intro music and, and all this other stuff. And he's going to like tip his hat and all this. And, and he's going to get clapped within the same arc. Not Maybe not the same episode, but the same arc for sure. Um, yeah. The Shona kind of about subverting shonen expectations here and there um, so yeah I'm looking forward to killing off some of these people um, personality for a title the intro villain who I haven't drawn yet since I already have an idea of what he's gonna look like in my head he'll probably be drawn by next week but um personality cocky smug arrogant Goal: steal money from them, those weaker than him. Occupation, thief, rank, he has no political rank, he's not a virtue student, he's not a graduated virtue student, and he's nowhere near any of the levels above that, so. Uh, affiliation, Ordemil Plains region, which is where Ciro starts out, this is where he also meets him, this is where the intro arc takes place. Actually, the first few arcs take place here, because this is where the school is located as well. It's going to be a while before we travel outside this town, let alone the region. But uh, Virtue class, not unlocked. Virtue ability, not unlocked. So he doesn't have access to any of his innate Virtue abilities. Maybe aside from the shield, which is everybody kind of has access to. Um, no move names, and he doesn't have an ability of any sort. But he does have the Momentum Bat named Bruce. Uh, but since he's not in too, too intelligent, he actually me meant to call it Bruce. Not Bruce, but this man doesn't have a whole lot of schooling. Obviously, he's not a virtue student of any sort. So. Uh, so it's a bat. I've read this before, but for those who haven't heard it, it's a bat that gains more store power for the next attack. The more it's swung around without making contact with anything solid, cannot affect gaseous substances like air, smoke, vapor, shock waves. I put shock waves in there because that's what Sarah's ability is, etc. Uh... 
so there I added a tiny bit more to his bio and rule of threes down here we'll just address these real quick uh, multiple ear piercings actually this, this, this is the rare case where it's more than rule of threes but I wanted to give him as many accessories as possible again to make him look distinct um, multiple ear piercings represent his toughness uh, he has a gold tooth shiny uh, arm tattoos also represent toughness multiple rings like rings on his hands fingers to give himself an automatic advantage should he get into a fist fight but that was before he got the bat but he still kept the rings because he bought them or probably stole them so uh, bio he claims that no one in this town is hiring so in order to make any sort of money to take care of his bedridden mother and baby sister he had to, he has to steal from people while exploring the outside of Ordermill, the town that we are in, uh, he found the bat lying in a near, uh, nearby forest and has used it ever since. He is just fearful the original owner might still be alive and call for it when he needs it most. Remember, smith gifts or these special weapons spread throughout this world made by the gods of this world. Um, the original owner that the the weapon is made for can always recall it kind of like thor's hammer but everybody has their own version of thor's hammer it's not the whole can't be lifted thing but just the recall ability aspect um everybody can do that uh well everybody that has it that has a blacksmith weapon made for them um after haneo kills him which is going to happen in the first arc because again this is to I gave him a distinct design to make it seem like hey this guy might be around for a while maybe he'll turn around for the good or maybe he's gonna be a rival of some sort nope Haneo kills him it turns out he was lying about having a mother and baby sister so Haneo's not a bad guy after all I'm gonna leave it at that but uh that's Pyle we finished him he I moved him away from the new new document so now instead of 98 pages last time I checked we were at 97 it's, it's not loading finished invisible today Make sure if you have an Amazon Prime, watch Invincible. Good show. Not sponsored. I don't know how I'd be sponsored by Invincible. But, uh, I recommend it. It reminds me of Descended, even though it was written before Descended. Actually, where season one ends is where I was in the comic book around issue 15. I think it tackled some more that I didn't read. Because it's, it's, it's a bit different from the, the comics, from what I could tell. Their page is still loading. Okay, yeah, 97. So our page number didn't go down when I removed a whole entire character from it, but that's fine. Creativity can't, can't be stopped. It's probably somebody's motto. Um... So, what everybody's been waiting for, um, I began writing, why is this one bigger than that? I began writing the actual script to the intro arc to the Shonen series. This is broken down for whatever artists I'm going to have draw it. So, somebody's helping me find an artist for this series don't know how the hell I'm going to fund it, but um, I'm writing it, and that's why I have this document open on the, the, the right. I'm writing it in the same way I wrote my comic scripts in college, because um, I took writing comics, which was a class at Drexel, and then I, ha I took the writing workshop. We had to take some sort of writing workshop before we graduated. No, some sort of workshop before we graduated in the script writing um, major. So we could have done playwriting, we could have done a screenwriting workshop, or we could have done a comic workshop. Um, so I, I took the, the comic workshop and 
actually, I wrote this script uh, as my final for the comics class, the, the first class that I took that, that was comic related. Um, probably one of my favorite classes ever. I, I was just so excited to either do the homework for it or like be in class and that was a rare occurrence to have me excited for both, especially the homework. So um, I think playwriting was another one of my favorites because I liked reading aloud other people's scripts in class and then also come up coming up with something normally comedic for um, for homework. Um, so this this script on the right, uh, Space Chase, was set in the Descended universe, but this is when, like, this is centered around the alien characters, and they're obviously in space. So, um, um, oh, do I have a picture of Um? I think I have a picture of Um. He's, he's like a, a rogue cop type, but a, a, he's a space cop. Um, he is an Exon, not a Texan, he's an Exon from Planet X. Um, where is the, uh, I went way too far back. Um, ah, this is when I still was taking pictures on my phone, but here's, um, the, the space cop. You see, he got the space vest, he's got his little name tag, he's got the, the badge on his belt buckle thing um and he's clearly an alien so yeah this that's um he actually funny story fun story he was actually one of my yo what up eric welcome to the stream my guy welcome to the stream um one of my first characters i ever created i found a place for him in the descended universe but him, uh, Ice Cap was another, and from Descended, was another one of my the characters I made. Do I have my? I think I have my um, old notebooks on my bookshelf. But I created him and like Ice Cap back when, um, back when. Um, I still drew in like lined notebooks, like single subject lined notebooks, sometimes in pen, sometimes in pencil. The comics are really inconsistent. I would draw really bad boxes, no ruler. The characters looked, oh, do I have a picture of what Angel looked like? Oh boy. Let me see. Book ready, do I have, this is other. G pair, seismic one, G pair, no. I don't know if I have it on. Ah, yes, yo. Yo. Alright. These are his abs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I didn't draw necks back then, bro. This man has three fingers. His wings look like clouds. Oh man, we've come a long way. We've come quite a long way. This is still a few years ago. I wonder how I draw Ice Cap now. Hmm. But uh, yeah. Long story short, too late. That's what. That's why I have this open because it's kind of serving as like. It's getting me back into the mindset of how I used to write comics in college or write the comic scripts. Um, and this is, uh, it, it's like a, it's like a template. So I know what's a scene heading, what's an action, what's general, what's all, all of this. So it's easier to, to format. But uh, I, I'll take you guys, you're, you're in for a treat because I'll take you guys through what I have so far. For, I've only done two pages. I started on the third, but um, yeah. Let's uh, um. So this is I, I didn't even name the chapter yet. I will name it at some point. Titles for me normally come last. Same with names. Um, five panels. This is page one. Interior Cyril's room. Day. Wide shot of the room. Books displayed all over. Uh, I should 
maximize this because I don't need the uh can you guys see that better I don't need the other thing up right now um there's a queen size bed in the back left corner there's a punching bag try to try and see if you guys can visualize it as I read um sit get into the mindset of the artist or or just see if the description works for you there's a punching bag hanging from the ceiling on the left uh from the ceiling on the right side of the panel in front of a desk that's up against the wall. So you just see like the back half of, of the desk. Um, sound effects, that's what SFX is. And then music playing in the background, sound effects, musical notes. So, um, oh wait, I skipped this. Around the middle of the panel is an open door to the bathroom where steam is escaping from the shower. So that's what that sound effect is. And then there's also music being played. Um, panel 2, interior serial room day. Uh, medium shot of Cyrus stepping out of the shower, turning the faucet off. We don't see his face. SFX, Creek. Um, SFX, also musical notes. Panel 3, interior serial room day. Close up of Cyrus brushing his teeth. We can see part of his face, but we can't see his eyes. Um, panel 4, I'm not going to keep repeating the scene heading. You guys know where we are. I would hope. Cyril's room day. Um, mirror, medium shot of Cyril putting clothes on. His back should be to us still, we, so we still don't see his face. Cyril whistling musical notes slash sound effect. I don't know if the artist could come up with some sort of sound effect instead of musical notes for him to whistle here, but that's why that slash is there. Um, SFX musical notes still coming from the, the background blasting his music. Oh, wait, I forgot the scene heading. Because in case we don't know where we are still, uh, we're still in Cyril's room, and it's still the day. Look at that. I didn't want to throw you guys off or anything. Medium shot of Cyril, now with headphones on, throwing a backpack on, heading out, uh, heading for the door next to the bathroom door, which is the exit to his apartment. His back is still to us. Now, here's where things ramp up. Page two is just about to get crazy. Um... Should I say? Always, always see. Page two, five panels. Panel one, exterior, exterior, Sierra's apartment building day. Medium shot, Sierra has exited the building as. What? I don't know what I mean by this. Has exited the building as in on the right side of the panel in the front of the building I don't oh no I'm so sorry the thing was why is it so quiet uh, appreciate the tier one sub chase uh, yes use use those emotes to to the fullest I want to see nothing but emotes forever um, I don't ever want to see you type words in chat if you're subscribed but I appreciate the 11 months, my guy. The 11 months, bro. There we go, Eric. Yes. I, if I ever see anybody having a conversation in my chat, they're getting banned. <laughs> uh, Chase, you're one away from the... Uh, I think you're one away from the 12-month subscriber... Um, what is it? The loyalty badge. The the purple one. See, my, I think my name has it. Yeah. Oh no, that's tier three though. Wait, no. I think it'll just it'll just be without the stars. You'll have the purple one without the stars. But I appreciate you uh, subscribing here uh, at, at tier one, my guy. It's always appreciated. I gotta subscribe back to you when you when you go live again. You <laughs> want stop? Chase, I can't. I'm I'm only at tier three because I run the channel. I don't give myself money. I don't. I don't know how that works. Also, I will be working on uh, tier two and tier three emotes. I just got to think of something that is good enough to even put at those levels because tier two is what, 10 a month? And tier three is like 25. So maybe, maybe like a, a make it rain emote of some sort with one of, the char one of my characters because if you subscribe at tier three, you have got it like that, I would assume. But, uh, 
thank you again. When you go live again, I'll I'll give you a subscription. Um, but I, I need you to go live, Chief. When you go live again, my guy. I need to see more of the. No, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I need to see more of Persona. Um, because I have no idea what the hell is happening in that story. Panel two. So he's exiting the building. Sarah's exited the building as in on the. There was an in here as in on the right side of the panel, in front of the building. So this should probably be comments here. This is still very confusingly worded. In front of the building. So he's on the right side of the panel and he's in front of the building, meaning the building is also on the right side of the panel. That's what that means. It's a really non great way to, to don't rush me. Oh, okay. I'll let you go at your own pace. And stream stream when you need to. I mean you already reached affiliate, so you can relax. Um We now see Ciro is in in his entirety. I added the height here and I just realized that I'm probably going to start needing to add heights for everybody, every every character. Uh, maybe not weights. I, I, I didn't want to include heights because that normally was like the last thing I would do when creating a character and like there are so many characters in the, in the new characters document where the height and weight are blank. Um, for the Descended series, at least. Um, and, like, I just decided to get rid of that in its entirety because I wanted to match the height and weight to what their build was and make it, like, realistic because I don't know that stuff by memory. Oh, he's 5'5", five five, he's got a slight build, he's at least 120 pounds. Like, I... Dog, that, I'm not a doctor, okay? So, I started adding the heights... I'm not going to be adding the weights. You can probably just guess the weight if you want. I don't. That doesn't. That storage stuff doesn't really matter uh, when drawing, at least. Um, I don't think, unless they're like super heavy set, maybe. But uh, now, see Sarah in his entirety. 18. Every student in this series is at least 18. I'm probably gonna make them all 18. But uh, five, five, tan brown skin, navy blue. Let, let's see if. Let's. Oh God! I closed out the damn. Go back. Well, let's see if this uh, if this description matches the picture. We'll see. Oh, no. there it is. Short King Zero. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the shortest of like, definitely his group. That's what I wanted. I wanted him to be the shortest of his group. Ferris. He's definitely taller. Zashi is taller. Amy's taller. They're all they're all taller than him. <laughs> short King. Yes, he, he is very short. Um, at least he's he's under the average male height of five ten. But this is a fantasy world, so who's to say what the average height is? Maybe the average height is five feet. We don't know. I don't know. Even though I made the world, I don't know. Tan brown skin. Uh, yeah. Navy blue hair. Check. Yellow eyes, black and white hoodie, blue accents. Check, check. Uh, yellow tank top with solo ton arrow. Yee. Uh, blue shorts. Yes, barely there, but you can see them. Uh, white sneakers. Let's just imagine. Uh, blue and red headphones on his head. They're not on his head in this picture. He's taking them off, but yes. And backpack, there's, there's no backpack in that picture. So I lied. I'm sorry, this isn't accurate. I'm, I'm deleting my channel now. Um, in this panel, he is stretching arms up towards the sky. So he's just exiting. He's like, ah. exiting his apartment building. Um, panel two, adjacent to panel one. So I kind of wanted a specific layout for this panel. Most of the time, I'm going to have the artist. The artist is going to have a lot of freedom. Uh, I want them to go crazy with designs that I don't specify and especially the panel layout whatever is easiest for them I cannot I will not be able to stress that enough with whatever artist I will be working with but whatever is is the best thing for you to do whatever you're comfortable with um, exterior exterior Cyril's apartment building day 
Uh, medium shot, Sura's in the same spot. He's looking towards the reader off panel at something, so he just goes from stretching to looking. That's pretty much what that means. Um, uh, in case you don't know where we are by this point, I'm going to say the scene heading again. Exterior, Sura's apartment, building, day. Over the shoulder of Cyril, wide shot, he's looking down the street uh, he lives on. For this town, everywhere on the ground is smooth pavement. It also makes things simple for art's sake. It's just probably just a gray line, a gray, thick line. That's it. No cobblestone, we ain't doing that. Um, we see people at different distances greeting each other. Uh, some people in a rush, others standing around looking shady. Make one look distinct. This is where I'm saying artist thing, your artist's intuition come in handy. Make one look distinct because Sarah's going to have to stop him in a couple of panels. Uh, panel four, exterior Sarah's apartment building day, worm's eye view, medium shot. Sarah's looking up at a forest that is raised on a raised piece of land. Uh, there's a tall wooden, there are tall wooden panels holding the dirt together and out of sight. Um, so directly in front of his building there, there's just tall wood panels, taller than him of course, there's a lot of things taller than Sarah in this world, but um, tall wooden panels that are like, and on top of the panels, or it looks like on top of the panels is like just a forest. He lives across from a forest. And it's pretty convenient because you're about to see why in a second. Um, geographically, is across the street from the apartment building. Panel 5, still outside the apartment. Worm's eye view, we see Ciro's leg slash sneakers leaving the panel. And in the background, we see that distinct shady character that I told the artist to make distinct. Uh, following a lady with a purse. So you know what's about to happen. I want, him to, have him, I want to have Ciro win his first fight. To show that he's capable of winning a fight, unlike a certain character from Mortal Kombat, from the Mortal, from the Mortal Kombat movie, it's not Sub Zero, and it's not Scorpion. Anyway, uh, I don't have a number of panels for this page. I normally fill in the number of panels once I'm done plotting out this page. But uh, the cold is so twitching, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, exterior, uh, exterior, we changed, now we changed locations again. Uh, small order mill forest, I didn't give the forest a name. Day, uh, it's crazy how it's still day outside in like three pages, right? Let's see. Uh, medium close shot uh, of Sarah. Medium close is like, I'd say upper chest area and up not like medium would be waist up medium close is like up here close is at least neck i'd say um and then there's extreme close it's just face uh from what i understand i was not a film student again i was a screenwriting student i took basic film five plus years ago and i don't remember much from it other than the rule of thirds college game in handy. Sierra in the middle of the panel, he's looking up through the trees, taking a stroll through the forest. He has a grin on his face. The man's is vibing. Musical notes. So, it's showing through action instead of dialogue, because he actually hasn't said anything yet. We're on page three. Um, through action, you're seeing Ciro appreciates just living and being and life and you're about to see him interact with some what's rule of thirds I'll explain in just a second mom I appreciate you showing up um, through action we're showing this, this man's this main character appreciates life and, and and just be living which is also why later on see your, your boy is a creative genius all right later on when you see him debating and like arguing with his friends, we can't kill this villain. It's because he appreciates life. And the other half of him, the, the, uh, don't, I, I don't know if I'm going to stick with 
him actually like being having access to a blacksmith and being a blacksmith which again are the gods of this world but like that's why there's that tear there because the real him the the blacksmith part kills bad people in order to preserve other human lives but him Ciro himself is like I appreciate all life regardless of who these people be killing so that speaks to that's why he's like the outlier in this series I normally don't like and I'll be forward I normally don't like characters the goody two shoe types but with him having that that contrast there and when he gets to his 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 final form his violent tendencies tend to go a little crazy um there there's that constant struggle between the real him and him him uh so that's why in the first few panels that you see him we're not even we didn't even meet any other characters yet he's he's out just vibing and that's also why he has the headphones and all of that um rule of thirds moms is uh your subjects in a film and correct me if I'm wrong any film majors um, your subjects in a film should always be within there's like three no there's two lines three sections to a, a camera and you normally see them when you like put up the grid if there is any sort of grid on the camera you're using there should be if you're filming something uh, on, a, on, a, on a good camera but uh your subject should always be. Let me see if I can find a picture of what I'm talking about. Use Google image search. Come on. Yeah, okay. Like this. All of these pictures are good examples. Well, not really this one, but all these pictures, like the dogs, uh, this couple, this girl here on the beach, this picture, all good examples of rule of thirds. Um, and that's that's the grid I'm talking about. The uh, this one's a really cool shot. Rule of thirds. And that's what I'm also keeping in mind uh, while while writing the, uh, the script. Chase, the man's is really, the man's is vibing really sets the tone. Appreciate it. Yes, that is, that's definitely what I'm going for. Um, and then the, and I'm also like, this also works out. A lot of things just tend to work out for me when I'm writing, even though I'm not planning that far ahead. Um, the contrast from this intro, seeing Ciro get dressed and, and just go out and, and vibe and then the end of this arc not the end of the chapter but the end of the arc with Haneo ending up like killing this dude he didn't want to kill like Cyril didn't want to kill his te his future teacher ends up killing this guy this this intro arc villain that that's it's a really good contrast in my opinion well I'm writing it so I don't know if my opinion But yeah, moms. Uh, yeah, that that was that's the uh, rule of thirds. Um, panel two. So there were these things I used to draw. I might want to grab. I don't think I don't know if that notebook is there. I don't want to waste the time searching for it. But there were these things I drew, and they they were called. I think they were called runners. They were like these. Uh, I don't know. If, let me see if I can draw it real quick. Draw it how I remember drawing them there were these weird creatures I drew that looked like this is a really really bad quick drawing of uh, things that like had no really only eyes no faces I'm thinking of drawing a really badass updated version of um, 
those things and adding those creatures to the world. I might have already in my world building document. Um, but um, there right now there's only including those there's only three like supernatural or non real world creatures so far and I'm going to continue building on them because um, once we get to Vermilion uh, Millie her whole thing is like capturing and selling these uh, mythical fantastical creatures so um, let me see yes I did add creatures oh I added finger primates that, that came to me in a dream so we have space wheels, of course. We have scorpions. Scorpions that look like, that look and colonize like ants, all black. They range in size from actual ant size to small dog. Very creepy, very strange. I love it. Uh, finger primates. The name is a working title, but a uh, monkey that crawls around your hand and grips right to your fingers. They have tiny clothes and hats. Don't ask me where the tiny clothes and hats came from. Don't ask me why the hell this was a dream of mine, but I had my finger out and one of those things was crawling around and it had like the nose of, I, I forgot, I don't know the name of that primate, I think it's a primate, it has like a really long bulbous nose um, and it, it was like a really tiny version, it had a big head, but it was like crawling around my finger and it had like a suit and suit pants and, and a top hat. And it was it was vibing on my finger. It was chilling. And then we have these these runners, the cheetah-like quadrupeds. I used to draw when I was little, but only cooler looking. So I'm most likely going to draw an updated version of the really bad thing I just showed you. Um, so Cyril's about to come in contact with some of those runners that are chilling in the forest for this panel uh, exterior. Small ornament. Why is it not? Is it? Wait, was this a scene heading? Yeah, it was. So why is it not showing up here? It's strange. Day. Oh, I'm trying to think of what shot I want to show for this here, maybe probably another over the shoulder. Hmm. Shoulder shot. Uh, runners. And I'll I'll have the drawing out by by then. A drawing out. Ooh, no, I have a better shot idea. Zero on the right portion of the panel. It's a wide shot, and then we have like runners going through the forest in the background. Because there's more forest than what Zero's walking in. He's just walking like in the on the edge portion of the forest. So let's do this is action, right? Uh, wide shot, zero is on the right side of the panel, strolling in the background are bushes, and behind the bushes are a, it's a good term for a group of not a, a bushel of runners, a pod, no, we're going to have a pod of space whales, a murder of runners, I'm going to just say group for now, I don't think we need to give it a special term, group of runners, um, behind the bushes, Uh, a horde? Horde sounds evil. I guess they a pack of runners. Because they act more like 
Because they're also herbivores. They... I don't even know if I should call them herbivores, because I don't know if I want to give them mouths. In the old drawing, all I gave them was eyes. I'd have to play around with the concept. And I don't really draw animals, so don't expect anything spectacular when I show it on the screen. Um, group of runners behind the bushes. Um, hmm, let me... I'm, I have the planned out document here. This is the Beats intro. What is this? Oh, this is where I was going to start writing it. I'm going to just delete this document because now I'm using Final Draft. So, let me... Um, nothing wants to be loaded when I'm streaming. Like, every, everything just resets. It's not like my computer restarted. Okay, I guess I'm not going to delete it. Um, so what's crazy is I wrote out the beats and based on like the beats I had for chapter one, it kind of works out. Like the pages, um, it's supposed to be, oh, uh, yeah, I don't, nothing wants to work when I'm streaming, but um, it kind of works out based on like the page numbers and all of that. I added the page numbers after. I had the beats already ready. I think I added one beat possibly. Yeah, this this one here where he rescues a lady from the thief. So I, I wanted to show his fighting prowess before he comes into contact with um, Pidal because Pidal is going to be like the second fight he has. He was originally going to be the first and I want him to lose the fight, his first fight against Pidal which causes Ciro to get trained up a bit by Haneo before going back to fight Pidal and then it ends up in Pidal's death because Haneo kills him, not Ciro. So, uh, yeah. This is Lady from the Thief. So we're on track here. Instead of going this way, he decides to take scenery, letting the breeze hit him, watch the trees sway, runners run by. Uh, animals behind the bushes. So let me keep this up. Nope, that's the wrong. I'm going to just throw it up here. So let's see that. Um. Trying to think, should I have the runners walk up to him? I think I'm gonna have one of them walk up to him to show that they're benevolent, cause run, having them run in the background can look kind of shady and freaky, like they're hunting him. So I'm gonna have one of them like approach him, show their their benevolent creatures, and then he's gonna hear the lady scream. And he's gonna jump into action on page four. So I think we can get this done. Have him, have the runner approach him and show their innocence in this this page we still have uh, I looked it up anything anywhere from shonen tend to be their panels tend to be anywhere from five to six panels per page so as long as we stay within that amount um, sometimes we'll definitely like break that rule um, even either having more or less but um all right panel three so this is an action but I capitalize it anyway And then this is scene heading. You, you want to give me the... Wait, small... Wait, I put force. Did I not put force at the end of this? Now it's going to autocorrect to small order mill. Damn it. That's why I should have copied it. Yeah, it says small, small order mill now. Okay. All right, panel three, exterior. Um, probably another over-the-shoulder. 
We've only done one. I don't know why I'm saying another. Um, shoulder. No. No. Let's, we don't have to have sear on every panel. So let's just do a... Is a far shot a thing where you see the whole body? I don't want it to be a wide shot where you see everything. I just want it to be a far shot so you see the entire runner come out of step out of the bushes. I'm gonna say far shot. Um, one. I'm not going to change the name. I used to call them runners when I was a kid because I couldn't come up with a more creative name. And now I kind of just want to leave the name as is. Kind of like how I left Ice Cap's name. Ice Cap. I changed Om's name. His name used to be Omi. But I, I got rid of the I. Plus, once I changed it to Om, it kind of coincided with um, the, the X in Planet X there inhabitants their their naming scheme all of their names are only two letters so um, one of the runner steps out of the bushes and is looking up not up just looking at the viewer in zero's position Nice yet. Mom, you can't say anything. Remember, those books aren't out yet. I know why you're saying that, though. Um, let me up in the viewer in Sarah's position. I think that's... That's probably enough detail. Far shot when the runner steps out of the bush is looking at the end of the series. Uh, let's see. B eyes. Chase crying. <laughs> Mom. Nothing bad happens, Chase, bro. Trust me. It's just. Yeah, nothing bad. I, I gotta protect my boy, Ice Crab. But um, it's just things get things get ramped up at, in no time, and uh, so I'm working on book two. This is kind of taking a priority because I still haven't like even received cover art for book two just yet. So I think once I see the cover art, that'll get me to push book two out. Book two is very close to being done. It's just the art is that and the formatting oh man I don't know how to format for um I'll probably just look it up I don't know how to format for a uh, paperback and I don't know how the hell he did table of contents or anything like that for the ebook my uh editor darn uh, looking at the viewer's position, BDI's panel four. This is action, and then scene hitting. Exterior or a small ornament. Oh, now it wants to show up. Okay, great. Oh, that's because I typed it the second time. Damn it. Uh, small ornament forest day. Uh, far shot. Uh, zero is on the right side of the spam risk. Fantastic. Oh wait, I'm gonna just do not start. There we go. Now you can't call me. Right side of the panel crouching down. Uh heading the runner on his head. Happily, 
intersecting of the pet. Um, I should still have uh, musical notes going throughout these panels to keep us notified that the music is still going. We'll have the scream and then we'll have Zero like maybe take off one of his headphones. What are they? Are, are, do the headphones have individual names? Is is it just a single headphone? There's the left headphone and then the right headphone and together they're called headphones. So if I were to take one of these off, I'd be taking off the right headphone. Or are these called something else? These things. Also my beats, these are destroyed. They started to like fall apart. It's like cheap. I don't even know if it's leather. Whatever it is, it's bad. It always leaves some sort of dust residue. Um, musical notes. Accepting of the pet, and then we'll have panel. So probably two more panels. So we'll say six panels for page three. Six panels. And my sleep schedule has been fixed, so I'm actually starting to get tired now. But I, I started writing this out during the day, guys. Like, it was like 2 p.m. And I was up at like 9 a.m. that day. Having a normal sleep schedule is insane. But it's also increased my productivity, kinda. I'm proud of you, man. The early bird gets the worm. Yeah. I mean, I, again, I didn't start this till the afternoon, but I started it, is what matters. During the day, I'd normally be waking up at 2 p.m. Actually, that's not true. I woke up. I woke up Saturday night at 9 p.m. Stayed up for 24 hours and fixed my sleep schedule. And it's been fixed right now ever since. It is bound to get messed up again at some point, but I'm hoping I can keep it up at least until next week. Yay, sleep schedule is fixed. Yes, again, for now, it is not guaranteed to stay this way. Uh, panel 5, exterior. day um, over the top I want to say it's like it's, in a, it's gonna be in a weird shot position but over the top of the runner's head looking at zero uh, we're gonna include the musical notes musical notes and then I don't want to say it's cut off that'd be weird and that'd make no sense I was gonna have like musical notes and then there's like a dash mark because the mu musical notes are cut off by the screen that doesn't make any sense looking at zero uh, we're the top of the said looking at zero um, the Still has a smile on his face. Uh, I think the term is put character lady OP is off panel. Ah. So the smile on his face. And anything else for this panel? No. 
And then panel six is him taking out the headphones to make sure you heard that right. Like, is it? Somebody just scream? That's what he's thinking. Scene heading exterior. Forest day. Um, same shot as before. Same. Sh let's say same shot as panel five. But now, zero has removed the rights. Excuse me, the right headphone. This is why I was asking this question before. I didn't know how to describe it. I guess it's singular, there's the left headphone and the right headphone. So he removes the right headphone. Um, to make sure you heard a scream. I'll put this in parentheses because we don't know that as. You can infer this, but that's just a description for the artist. Make sure you're at the, sure you're at the screen. Um, and now, we're going to get into some action. Right? Let me make sure I'm on track. Um, page four to five, still on track. Zero rescues a lady from a thief. Yeah, so this action sequence should be short, but gets the point across that he knows how to fight. He has a punching bag in his room. Of course he knows how to fight, right? Yeah. Um, page break. Insert. Page break. There you go. Uh, make sure I save. Uh, let me double check the things. This is an action. This is an action. This is the scene. Okay, page four. Number of panels. Section. And later, panel one, scene heading, exterior, uh, what was the name of the street? I just call it Sierra's apartment building, right? Yeah, everything started with an S until this point. So we'll call this Ordemil. Let's say random or those. Ciro's apartment street. Day. Okay, now we're in actions. Kind of shot down one of this. Um, trying to think of his entrance here as well. Just say medium shot. I'll let the artist do some Planning here, medium shot of the distinct man slash thief from earlier tugging at a lady's purse. Panel two. A wide shot. Say worm's eye view. Wide shot of zero 
jumping, say leaping out of the forest in the background with the thief and lady in the foreground. And a three. It's way easier for me to write prose action. Now I gotta think of the shots and stuff. I can still like think of what kind of action shots and stuff I want, but normally I'm just good at describing it for the reader's mind, imagination, not the artist. Foreground. a slightly high medium shot of the thief looking at zero in awe. And then the next panel is that same thief getting kicked in his face. still have another whole page to go with this action. I figure a bit of hand to hand, then Sarah wins, then we just move on. Because this fight isn't that important. It's again just to show and instill some confidence in him as the reader. Oh, this guy can fight. That's pretty much what these two pages do. And he's a bit of a hero. Um, hero type. a lot to describe to just to accomplish that but that that's that's what we're doing uh panel five Ooh, panel six is gonna make it look badass actually i want to do panel six first and then b panel six Um, medium shot, zero, glaring, let's say medium shot from the POV, let's say not perspective of the thief, zero glaring at the thief. With the lady with the purse standing behind him, staring at Zero, also in awe. Oh, he doesn't have his gloves by this point either. Remember, his gloves are are his Smith gift. Um, so those haven't even been given to him yet. I forgot. Well, I didn't add the gloves to the description, so we're fine, but, um, all right, 
so it looks he looks he's gonna look bad because he's just glaring at the guy. He's like, Oh, you wanna you wanna steal from people, huh? But he hasn't he hasn't said anything. And and you don't hear his thoughts. At least at this point. I'm probably going to start including thoughts later on in the shonen. Right now, I want his first words to kind of be important. We're on page what? In the page four? He still hasn't spoken. I'm fine with that. A bit on the mysterious side. Uh, you just see the problem. So we're gonna have the thief in this shot, like, scrape his hands across the ground. Cause he, like, fell back from the kick. Medium. Chase makes sense. The very first line of the dialogue should suddenly set the tone. Exactly. Exactly. Um. I don't even know what I'm going to have his first words be. Things by slowly. <sighs> okay, I was looking at... It, I thought it was possible for me to make it so Cyril's first words aren't until the end of this first chapter and for page 19 all I have is end the chapter with Ciro saying nah because he's rejecting Haneo's offering him offering Ciro to join the, the the school that'd be an interesting way an interesting first set of words for him to say but he he has an argument I think with with Pytel in this chapter so Hello, I dig it. I wish, yeah. But he 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 has to have an argument with Pytel, uh like around the middle of this chapter. So I wish, but uh, we have to set that tension up uh, kind of early. I think. So here, medium. You say far shot, far shot here, far shot, a thief. Keep smelling like thief wrong. Scraping his hands. Or his hand against the ground. So he gets kicked, falls back. Yeah. Hands against the ground. Sometimes I, I act out the action to make make sure it makes sense. That I don't want like Ciro to kick the guy and then all of a sudden the guy is laying on his stomach. That's not how that would work unless he did a backflip. Um, far shot of these scraping his hand against the ground, uh, gritting his teeth in anger. I do that too. Uh, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta make sure. You gotta make sure it makes it makes physical sense. You, you can't get kicked in the face and then the next shot the guy's like on his stomach instead of either his back, his hands, his knee, anything else. Like, if he were to get kicked back, how the hell is he on his stomach in the next panel? Because you, you, you can't, it's not being animated, so you can't see that. So, uh, far shot of these screens, handing this around, bringing his teeth in anger. Uh, look, looking up off panel at zero in front of him. And then we have the badass shot of Ciro standing in front of the lady protecting her um, for panel six. This is why I wanted to do panel six first. But, uh, what up, Imperial? Why did college come in handy? Because I brought, I bought this program, Final Draft, in college. And in college, I also... Can we... Ooh, we can do a page break. A clean page break here. Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks... Uh, there's no, like, extra space there. It looks good. Um... In college, I brought this program uh, for the screenwriting. This is this. I changed my majors around sophomore year to from 3D animation to screenwriting. Bought this program for the screenwriting classes. Um, and even though I'm not doing screenwriting, I took writing comics classes and a workshop while in college, and it helped me learn my style of describing a comic script so 
when an artist reads it, they have as hopefully as little questions as possible when putting pen to paper after reading the script through, um, and make it as close to my design as a uh, as possible. Um, but again, I, I'm all for artist freedom. Like I, I don't want to have to. I also don't want to have to do everything mentally. Like okay, you got to make sure his hand is at least halfway in the panel in this shot. And no, uh, whatever is easiest for the artist. Um, um, Chase, shout out to screenwriting classes. Yeah, I love most of them actually. Um. I don't think I wasn't really a fan of the lit in was it the literature one? Yeah, I think it was the literature screen. We did watch Predator in that class though, and that was kinda fire. But the the one with Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy, bro, I fell asleep. I don't think I think I've only fallen asleep once before in class and that was during uh oh god, was it film history? I think it was film history too. I was also sick that day, so and then when we watched Tinker's Tale of Soldier Spy, I was like, oh my god, everybody in this movie is whispering. Why, one person, there was a gun in the beginning, and the gun wasn't even shot. And then at the end, somebody got shot, and I was like, I don't even know who died just now. And they're still whispering. This guy got shot, and everybody is still, why is everybody whispering? They're, they're acting like they're so cool and, and British. I think some of them were British. I don't know. But I think Gary Oldman was... Oh, God. That was scary. I, I think Gary Oldman was in it. Yo, what up, Sitaru? Uh, appreciate the uh, the host, my guy. Um, But I hated that movie. And I don't remember if I read the book or not. There were some books I just wasn't going to read for college. And that was probably one of them. I'm, I'm kind of sorry to admit, but... Oh. Um, sorry, I did playwriting for my college stuff. Well, that and lit. Playwriting was fire as well. Um, if there was more money in it, I might have gone through playwriting. I'm also still not doing screenwriting technically, but there's this. Um, close enough, right? Um, I had so much fun writing plays because it's all dialogue, and I really love writing dialogue, clever or not. Sometimes I just love making it stupid. But uh, dialogue and action, I, I like my writing strengths. So it's crazy we actually haven't really had a line of dialogue up until this point for the script. But um, playwriting, yeah, had a fun time. Um, I think I only took playwriting one. I think in playwriting two, you had to write a full play. I don't think I did that. Um, let me make sure. Mom's yes, come through college education, yes, because she, she paid for it, so I would, she would hope that I'm, I'm putting it to good use, and I am, I am. I'll start, I mean, I don't think college is necessary, but it was good for me. Right, it's not, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody. I, yeah, just like normal school education isn't for everybody, like, who, everybody can't sit in a classroom for hours on end listening to somebody lecture. That's not how everybody learns, and I understand that completely. Um, God, I hate history. Yeah. History's trash. I know we're like, if we don't learn about it, we're doomed to repeat it, but with film history, I don't want to repeat any of that, so I guess, <laughs> any of what I saw, so I guess that's important in some messed up way. Uh, Chase, that lit part of the screenwriting major is why I did film instead, lol. Ah, I think that, that was, ooh, wait, you might be right, Chase, because I had to take Shakespeare, bro. We did four Shakespeare plays I had never even heard of. King Lear, uh, Midnight Summer's Dream, and there were two others I'm forgetting. The Tempest, I think. Dog. One of my least favorite classes ever. And I had film history. I do not like Shakespeare's plays. I am sorry to every writer out there who just gasped and clutched their pearls. I do not like Shakespeare's plays. At all. Any of them. 
Um, sorry, uh, same. Uh, I'm crazy when it comes to dialogue. Yeah, dialogue is. If you do a dialogue right, that's why I love community. Community, their 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 stuff is just well, just in general. Community, the, the TV show is so damn clever. I'm trying to get my my fam to watch it. Nobody's watching it after I showed them the pilot. I'm like, it gets better. They have like Star Wars and and westerns, and they don't understand it. But they gotta watch it. Um, do you have Walmart for film history? Who didn't? Was there an other, was there another option? Cause I would have loved to know, Chase. I would have loved to know. I was normally drawing during that class. Cause it was a four hour class. First of all, that class did not need to be four hours. I don't know how they got it to be four hours, but it was. And, um, what's I trying to say? Oh yeah, three out of those four hours was the man's talking. I'm not kidding. He was talking, no notes, nothing on, 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 on a projector, nothing to look at, nothing to distract us, no videos, absolutely, the man's was just the definition of a lecture. And then we wouldn't have enough time to finish the movie when he finally put it on with an hour left in class because none of those movies were under an hour. And then he would have to, he would throw it up online and watching the movie was our homework. Dog, if you would have stopped talking an hour in, we would have had plenty of time to watch the movie and discuss in the same class. But no, you wanted to go off on so many tangents like I do on stream, but that's not the point. Um, <laughs> Chase, what's going on? Uh, Chase, I know you created a, a genre and a whole lot of words, but Shakespeare is overrated AF. I could not agree more, my guy. I, I'm not going to get into it, but no. There, there's one like funny Shakespeare thing that I've ever seen, and it was like I think it was a meme for a while where it was just said, "What you egg." And then in parentheses it said he stabs him. <laughs> out of, just out of context. That's just hilarious. Um, Chase, the other option was to wait until... Oh my god, fuck. Chase, he's not kidding. Four hour class, three of them was uh, him rambling and none of his lectures were relevant to the plot. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. It's not like we were learning anything in those three hours. Nothing to do with anything, nothing to do with the history of the film, the director, any of that. I could not tell you what any of those three hours were dedicated to because I was too busy trying to keep my sanity intact. And you be the judge of whether I still have that sanity or not after going through two classes with him. There was a film history three. There was a three that I fortunately did not have to take. I think film students did have to take three. And I'm so glad. So glad. Uh, Chase, I tried to get back into Shakespeare and uh, as an adult and he's still not hidden. Hey man, I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I just know it's not for me. That's what I understand for myself. Shakespeare is not you think Shakespeare is, is making an appearance in, in this this shonen battle action manga comic? You think any of this has to do with Shakespeare? You think I'm using any Shakespearean words? Maybe some of the concepts of the stories, perhaps. His uncle uh, smashed his, his mom after killing the dad and the son is mad about it, so now the son wants revenge. I, e I either just explained Hamlet or Macbeth, or I mixed them up. I, where's that? Is that Oedipus? Doc, I don't remember. Those Greek stories were fire, though. Uh, if you want to compare Shakespeare and the Greek stories, um, I really love the Greeks. I don't know what it was about any of the Greek stories, but I don't know. I think it was the fact 
I think weren't the gods sometimes involved in some of those? Probably. I, I love Greek mythology. Um, or really just any mythology. I like learning about myths and, and stuff like that. Which is why I created the Haven, Haven, the Haven gods for Descended. Um, that's that's another story. So I also have the blacksmiths in this story. They kind of have their own history. Not really creation story. They kind of just created humans and fell in love with their design of their creation. But um, Greek mythologies, are f the, those stories are fire. Uh, was it the Odyssey? I think we read in ninth grade. That was fire. Uh, it, I, I didn't really understand it, though. That was kind of the issue. When I was reading it, I didn't really understand it. It wasn't until I looked it up later, I was like, oh, that's what all of this meant. Because it was like an epic poem. So. Um, Chase, you're not going to quote to be or not to be? Most likely not. Uh, Macbeth. Okay, so that was Macbeth. Which one was Hamlet? I don't remember Hamlet. Uh, Homer greater than Shakespeare? Of course. Yes. Forgot Homer. The Odyssey was One Piece before One Piece. You're not wrong. You're not wait, why didn't I why isn't that an emote? Just a shrugging emote. Maybe for tier two. Tier three. Or maybe just when I reach partner. That is a goal of mine at some point to reach partner. That's why I've been on on the on the grind. We've only missed two days since I've been back. And one day it was because I watched Mortal Kombat. And the other day I don't remember what happened. One day. Um, so, Sirius so saying, uh, uh, we kind of went on a tangent. So, to conserve time, and because a lot of this is me just thinking about what shot to use, I'll probably just write some more over the course of the week and come back with you guys with, uh, with some more of what's finna happen in this uh, intro chapter. Um, I don't, I'm probably not going to be doing this for 100% not going to be doing this for every writing stream going forward just to give you guys some insight as to what's to come for this beginning chapter get you guys hyped because I know people wanted Descended to be a visual novel or they expected it to be a graphic novel of some sort of comic and it wasn't and I feel like People nowadays are more visual learners, so if it were in some sort of spectacle form where they could look at everything happening rather than reading it, it would do better than Descended. Hopefully that is my hope because I really want to make this something something popping. Um, so, yeah. And that's also why it took priority over the second book. But I'm really holding out for for a really great artist. That that's another part of it. Finding an artist with a really good art style, manga art style, to to bring this to life and understand what any of these descriptions mean in in my brain. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have Pidal drawn by next week and have some more pages done as well um batman tomorrow night most likely more the last of us friday because we kind of left i don't think we left in the greatest spot but most likely more last of us friday uh last of us two um and yeah make sure you guys watch the skit that's on youtube i have we have the, the command for that uh, exclamation point YouTube. Go watch it there on my channel. Um, another one next week. I'm trying to do those weekly as well. Uh, listen, listen to the podcast. All, all the plugs, all the links ever. Uh, I'm gonna just put links. There we go. 
everything you could ever want to listen to is everything I'm connected to is there we shoot do all that um let's do our shout outs and is anybody Um, so, we had a lot of people stop by today. Shout outs to Max, who was here as soon as we started streaming. Uh, Ladina as well, uh, they were in the chat. Uh, Eric, uh, shout outs to you as well. Um, Moms, and of course, Chase for chatting it up with us, and Sataru for the host as well. Um, shout outs to everybody watching, and that did watch and stop by. Thank you all so much. See everybody tomorrow night for some more Batman. We're playing as Catwoman this time, so Cat Man. Good chat. And this is JP Phoenix once again. Signing off.